the, in, in Christianity, we have the term uh, unconditional love. Yes, unconditional uh, love. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I've I spoken to Muslim, Muslim friends, and, and they also speak about uh, unconditional love. Yes. Um, about what you, what you said, you, you, you told about the path we choose in life now will determine whether we are to be in peace or uh, in, in, in punishment, you know, yes. in a way. Yeah. And I don't, I don't see the unconditional love in, in punishment. Because for me, unconditional love is, is uh, eternal. Yes. So no matter what we do, we are forever forgiven. Yes. But, I understand your yeah. question. Thank you very much. And I'll repeat his question so that everyone will understand it. He, he is mentioning that in Christianity, there's a concept of unconditional love. That, that, that God has unconditional love, meaning that love is, does, does not come with a condition that is given freely to every single human being. And that punishment, the punishment of Islam, that Islam speaks about whether you choose a path of peace or punishment in the next life, does not seem to fit in with the concept of unconditional love. So how do we reconcile that understanding, correct? Perfect. It's a very beautiful question, I thank you for the question. It's actually a question that Islam deals with, but unfortunately not Muslims, Muslims don't deal with properly. And I'm glad I have time to address this question, because it's a big question. And it's actually a big problem in our da'wah. Our da'wah is intrinsically flawed because of this question. And young man, I'll give you just a moment, if you just give me about five minutes to answer this properly, inshaAllah. You see, unfortunately, how many people in this room were born into Islam? Your parents are Muslim, you're raised as a Muslim, raise your hand. Perfect, hands down. How many people came to Islam later on in their life through finding the truth? Perfect, all right. Now, for most of us born Muslims, especially if you were born back home in your original country or your parents are immigrants from back home, and that even continues on through generations, we were taught Islam by a stick. Yes or no? Through the stick. Come on all my Somali brothers and sisters, you know the ul. You know what happens in Dutsi if you don't do what you're supposed to do. The ul is coming out, then when you go home, there's a bigger ul. We were taught Islam at the end of a stick. That if we don't do this, Allah is going to punish you. If you don't do this, Allah is going to throw you in hell. We were taught Islam at the point of fear. The end of a stick or a spear. And unfortunately that has carried over to how we associate Islam with the world. And that's really the most detrimental thing to a child, a Muslim child growing up, is to teach them Islam only at the end of a stick through punishment. Because we forget one thing. We forget that Allah introduces Himself in the Qur'an as what? It, every chapter except chapter 9 begins like this. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. This is how the Qur'an begins. In the name of the Creator, the most compassionate and the most merciful. And there are too many, too many, realistically, too many things for me to give you. But one thing I will tell you for sure is there's a statement of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that sums this up clearly. He was once standing around a fire with his companions. And there was a child playing near this fire. And when the fire would roar up, the mother would reach and grab the child and pull it back. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, began to weep because of this. He cried. And the companions asked him, why are you crying? Because they knew his tears were for a reason. He said, do you see how much this mother loves her child? That she doesn't want it to be burned. They said, of course, yes, this is the maternal instinct given to all mothers. Well, most mothers. Unfortunately, we live in a corrupt world. He said, no, for a fact, that your creator loves each and every single one of his creations more than that mother loves her child, unfortunately, they themselves keep stepping into the fire. You see, this is how Islam explains it, is that the Creator, since the beginning of time, has always shown the right path to people. He sent His prophets and messengers. He sent Moses, Noah, Abraham, David, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, to show humanity the right path and the wrong path, and told them, look, this is the right path. This path, if you stay on it, will lead to eternal paradise forever. And this path, if you stay on it, leads to punishment and hell. And at the end of the day, it is not the Creator who is the one throwing people headlong into the fire. 
It is themselves and their own determination actions which they walk into it. They walk into it freely of their own choice. That's how Islam compre complements or comprehends that idea. It's different than Christianity, yes. But we believe that God created everything and His mercy is absolute. When people say that Islam is not a merciful religion, Islam says that if Allah didn't have mercy, there would be no creation. Nothing would exist if the Creator wasn't merciful. If He didn't love us, we wouldn't exist because He would punish us immediately when we committed sin. And not a single one of us would be left on this earth. It is the fact that we do sin. And then we, some of us return and repent to our Creator that makes us so special. And that's what He loves the most about us. Is that yes, we're going to commit sin. All of us are going to commit sin. But through that sin, God has the chance to show that He is the most merciful, that He is the most compassionate, that He is forgiving and forbearing. He's able to show that through us when we return to Him. So that's how Islam sums or, or, or complements that idea of unconditional love. That yes, God loves everything, but at the same time, He does not like when we disobey Him. And He said He will punish us if we live like that and don't fix it. I hope that answers the Islamic concept on that. So